Hello everybody, LEGO Sonic Fan 17 here and I'm back with another Space Flight Simulator video. And no, your voice is not your voice. <laughs> Dang it, I ruined this intro. I practiced this intro like five times and I got it right every single time and I was like, okay, I'm I'm going to record it. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be so funny because I'm gonna make a joke about how nobody l actually liked my commentaries, and everyone's gonna love it. And now when I finally do the intro, when I finally record it, I mess it up. That's just great. <laughs> I I could just stop um like recording and do it again, but yeah, whatever. I I I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, it, it I've already gotten this far. I, I'm, I'm not gonna stop recording now and redo it because I, I feel like me messing it up is actually a lot funnier than if I said it the right way because I was gonna say, oh, hey guys, I'm back, blah, blah, blah. Did you guys miss me? Probably not. And then just say what the video was gonna be about, but whatever. Anyway, um, let's just uh, focus on what is, uh, what's happening on screen. I'm launching an SSTO, well, I already launched an SSTO to the moon. As you can see, the SSTO is not going to the moon. In fact, what is going to the moon is a small lander that's inside the SSTO. The SSTO was just used to deliver it into low Earth orbit because I didn't want to use a conventional rocket because that's expensive and, you know, we don't have a, 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 a huge budget right now, so... That's why our uh, contractor said, hey, you don't have enough money, we're not giving you enough money because we don't want to, we're spending it on uh, uh, God knows what. Uh, so you're gonna have to make a reusable uh, rocket that can launch many, many times. And this is also great for you so you know how to like reuse rockets and um, you know, not be wasteful with the money we give you. <laughs> anyway, we've made our lunar transfer now. Look at that. Um, Right now we're gonna switch to the SSTO and uh, head for the land. Yeah, there. We're switching to the SSTO to do the deorbit burn and we're going in for the landing. This took many attempts, hence why you might see the saving uh, thing like four or five times in this video because I, I'm, I mean, come on, I'm not that good at the game to do this mission in one try. I obviously have to quick save. Now we are coming into the uh, atmosphere of the earth um, yeah, this, this took many attempts to land, as I mentioned before. It kind of got frustrating because I, in a few instances, I got very close to actually landing it and I ran out of fuel and the SSTO tipped over and I, I didn't want to upload those, um, those versions or make the video about that because I didn't want to seem like a noob landing SSTOs and I wanted to, you know, see, um, show people that I actually am good at the game which completely contradicts the thing I said uh, a bit earlier in which I said that I'm not good at the game. Guys, I'm good at the game, I promise. I was just lying. <laughs> so now we're, uh, we've are we descended through the lower atmosphere, igniting the engines to come in for a landing. Coming in more like in a vertical uh, landing position because coming in like kind of horizontal-ish whenever you still have a bit of horizontal velocity, it kind of ruins the landing and then the lander kind of tips over and stuff. It's nice to just come in vertically straight down and there you go we have touchdown you can see the top of that fairing was completely like toasted landed with 0.8 percent of fuel which is in, in, insane uh in one of the uh one of my previous landings i landed with about i think it was 0.3 percent fuel but that was after a quick save and i didn't want to upload the um you know the the landing after i did a quick save because I'm not making any sense right now. What am I saying? Okay, we've, uh, we've, we're approaching the moon and pointing retrograde, uh, time warping a bit, and firing the thrusters to get into m the moon's orbit. Now, right here, you might question this maneuver. I went into a suborbital trajectory, turned around, and then fired my engines again to enter lunar orbit. Now, you might be asking yourself, why did I do that? because I am not used to playing SFS like horizontally. I'm more used to playing it vertically. So if you see me like overshoot a burn sometimes or stuff like that, that is why. We're landing in Copernicus Crater because I don't think I've visited Copernicus Crater before. Uh, 
I mean, now somebody who's gonna be obsessed with my channel, like somebody who watches all of my videos, they're gonna be like, um, actually, you visited Copernicus Crater in this, um, this video right here. And then they're gonna put a link to the video and then I'm gonna look really stupid. Uh, so, moving on, um, again, I'm doing the vertical trick, like landing, um, completely vertically with zero horizontal velocity. I mean, there's a little bit of horizontal velocity, but there's not that much. Am I landing inside a crater? I I think I am. I I recorded this a while back. That's why I can't remember what happens uh, in this uh, video, which is kind of embarrassing. I think I am. Uh, no, it's a flat area. Never mind. <laughs> and three, two, one. Uh, no, the, the countdown was a little too early. It's because the, the thing I used to record um, is iMovie. Yes, I'm, um, I'm an editing noob. I edit everything on my phone. So, like, the recording thing, it blocks part of the screen, so that's why I couldn't tell where I was landing. So, now you know. It's, it's not that I don't know, or... I'm actually looking at the video right now, but I... Part of it is blocked by the recording thing that shows you, like, the sound and, like, all that stuff. Anyway, we're now lifting off from the moon, and going back to enter orbit i i going back to what i said at the beginning of the video i didn't really do commentaries because i didn't really know what to talk about so i, I i'll um I'll, I'll try to come up with something right now okay um mission four yeah i was gonna upload mission four of sfa you know before this one like a week after uh mission three but i was like I mean, what's the point of having a playlist if you're just going to upload all of them continuously, like back to back? The reason I made a playlist for SFA was because I was going to upload an SFA video, and then a few uh, non-SFA videos and another SFA video. But like so far, I've just uploaded nothing but SFA videos. So, <laughs> I mean, what's up with that, right? Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm frantically trying to think of something else to talk about so it's not just nothing but music now. And plus, especially because the music right here is copyrighted because it's from the uh, NASA Twan thing. Okay, uh, what else can I talk about? Oh yeah, the the, the channel, I guess. Um, what, what else is new in the channel? I'm, I'm, I'm desperately grasping at something, at trying, to, trying to think of something to talk about. I could just continue talking about SFA. Um, yeah, SFA, uh, the next video for Spaceflight Agency. It's it's probably not going to be the next video after this one, but because I'm actually planning a um, Saturn V video, I I don't know if you guys uh, look at my community posts. Probably not. But there I mentioned that my next video was going to be like, it was going to have a very famous rocket. And I think someone got it close. Someone said Starship. And now you might be wondering, how is uh, Starship close to Saturn V? Well... It is not. One is fully wasted and the other one is fully reused. So, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, uh, we're going to deploy the parachute now. And uh, you might start hearing the end screen music. So, yeah. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, all, all that stuff. Uh, all the links to my socials. Socials? Socials are in the description. And bye. <laughs>